All right, you guys, I just got back from Walmart and I am telling you, they are absolutely killing the Easter finds. I was walking through the decor aisle and I was like, I gotta start filming some of this because this is all so good and I could not wait to share it with you. So I'm getting this up as quickly as possible and hopefully things that will still be in stock right now, but they probably will go out of stock really quickly for the season. So everything will be linked in the video description and we'll jump in. So I found tons of adorable Easter home decor. I'm actually redoing our front porch area. I've never really decorated it for Easter, but they had so much cute stuff. The prices were so good that I'm going to do our front porch. Then I'm adding in a couple of extra adorable things I thought would be cute for the interior of a home as well. I also found some really, really cute toddler and kids clothes and some Easter dresses for us. So. The first thing are these flocked bunnies and these go out of stock super quickly every year, several weeks before Easter even rolls around. So if you want these, snag them right now. There's two different sizes. I got a white one, then the larger one and this kind of greenish sage green color in the larger one. And then I got a couple of the smaller white ones that I'm gonna use for our porch decor, but I think these would be really cute on a shelf, if you're doing like centerpieces for a dining table, if you're hosting for Easter, it'd be really cute for that. You can put them on a coffee bar, lots of fun things you can do with these. I also thought this bunny print was really cute and I like how neutral it is. So if you're someone that likes to do some seasonal decor in a bathroom, on a shelf, a kitchen, anything like that, I think this is a great option to utilize it without it being like super spring bright colors. I tend to do neutrals in our home and so any of the like really bright stuff doesn't usually work for me, but I like the size of this and I do think it'd be really cute even like stacked up against a shelf. This garland was adorable. I think for if you are hosting people for Easter, I think this would be so cute on the table, like as part of your, if you do a table runner, a centerpiece, anything like that, I think this would be really cute for that. You could also hang it on like a mantle, something fun. If you're a teacher, I can think of so many fun ways to use this. So this one is little carrots. I'm also gonna link the egg version for you. So they have one that's got like little Easter eggs all over it. Very cute and it is a similar color palette. I actually brought this wreath home with me. I think it is so cute and I love the colors. I'm doing a typical spring color palette for our front porch. I like the pastels and I just thought it was a really nice subtle way to do an Easter wreath and still have those pretty colors in it too. I also grabbed a whole bunch of these jumbo Easter eggs. I brought them all home with me and I'm not sure even what I'm gonna do with these yet, but I thought they were such a good prize and they're so cute and versatile. I thought even when I'm making like the kids, I usually do like a big Easter basket for them with some treats and some clothes and some toys and fun things. I thought these would even be cute to throw in there. I feel like I can see them playing with them and they just make a cute little decor piece. I'm also gonna use some of these for our front porch, but they come in a green, kind of sagey color, a pink, a brown, and a cream. Speaking of Easter baskets, these baskets are adorable, and I feel like these work for so many different ages. So I would get these for my toddlers to run around and collect eggs on Easter. You could also use these all the way up to teenagers if you do a little gift for them, if you do like a teacher gift basket or Sunday school teacher or friend, mom, anything like that. They're not so geared towards kids that you couldn't use them for other things. I think the ears are really cute and these tend to sell out really quickly every year. So they have the white and then they also have like a natural jute color as well. I'm just kind of bouncing around here, but this is one of the dress options that I loved. And I was kind of looking for Easter dress, spring dress, and I happened to wear sneakers in. And so if I were styling these at home, I would definitely do like a wedge or a heel, something a little bit more dressed up to wear for like Easter service. But this one is long sleeve. This is from Free Assembly brand and it is fantastic quality. It's nice and thick and good high quality fabric. Comes with a little tie belt and I love the floral pattern in this. This is a good way to do a floral without it being super spring color and super bright because it is still, the background of it is still navy. So I got the small in this one. 
And oh my gosh, y'all, I had to get this little short set for Owen. I think these are so cute. They're only $15 and they come in tons of different patterns. So I got the kind of like lemon looking pattern for him, but it comes with the shirt and the shorts. And the fabric is kind of like a thicker, uh, it's almost like a canvasy type fabric. So it's really soft, it's nice, it's got some structure to it. So it feels a lot more expensive than $15. And you could definitely break these up for different outfits for them too. But I got the lemon print. There's also a yellow kind of floral print that has a matching shirt and shorts and then an orange gingham one that's got orange gingham and then orange shorts. And I just think these are absolutely darling for spring and summer. I thought these little mushrooms were kind of unique and fun. This is not something that I would typically think of when I think of Easter, but it does give me spring decor vibes. And I think these would also be really cute on a table if you're decorating. I think you could put these on a shelf. I think you could even do like a glass bowl or glass vase and put them in with some eggs just to give it a little bit of texture. They've got like a Sherpa on the top and they're really unique and fun. This little ceramic bunny would make a great outdoor item because it's actually light up so you can light it and it could be like a little lantern outside you could do it on a little table if you have like an end table or something outside or a coffee table so it'd also be really pretty indoors as well it is a ceramic so this one is breakable and they also have an egg version that's light up too I don't know if your family is into actually dying eggs or even deviled eggs but I think these are really cute ways to actually display the eggs. If you didn't want to do them, or if you're not into either of those things, you can even put some little plastic eggs in these. You can even do like those cute speckled eggs I shared earlier. They make a smaller version. You could do those and make that just a decor piece too. But I think especially this little gold one, I think this would be great for dyeing eggs. You can lay some towels down and then you have a really pretty spot to let them dry. And then the other ones are a ceramic and they come in a cream and that sage green kind of speckled color. This is another thing that I came home with since I am doing the front porch. This is a specific Easter doormat. Normally I don't go so specific on the holiday like decor with my doormats just because I want to be able to get a lot of use out of them. But this one's under $10 and I really like the pattern of it. I like the colors. It kind of worked with everything else that I was doing. So I feel like for $9, this will be easy enough to store. They roll up pretty easily. You can throw them in like a storage tub or in your attic. And I really think the colors of this are cute. I also thought this throw pillow was really fun. So it's pink and it's got little bunnies on the outside. The opposite side is just like a woven pink and cream color. So if you're done with it after the Easter holiday, you can always just flip it and still use it in your home without it being so specific to Easter. You could also grab two of them and do one the bunny side, the other the other side on like a sofa or something or on your bed. And I think that'd be really cute too. Here's another dress option that I loved. Now, I feel like you could dress this up if you did like a really dressier heel with them, maybe a fun cardigan or blazer. I do feel like you could dress this up as an Easter dress. I actually would prefer wearing this one just casually and it's a super soft chambray type fabric. So it's really, really soft on, it's super comfy. It's got the drawstring around the waist that you can tie up. I had the medium in this. They did not have a small in store. I think the small would have fit me a little bit better. I'd say it runs on the bigger side. So if you're in between sizes, I would size down in this one. These little Easter sets for the kids. Oh my goodness. I definitely snagged these for London and Owen and I am dying, especially the little boys one. So adorable. So this is a little blue sweater. This is the exact one I got for Owen. He's got little glasses on the bunny and it's just so cute. And it comes with the little matching pants that are kind of like a, almost like a linen blend pant. And then the, they also have another color option that's just tan with bunnies and then a striped pant on that as well. And these come in baby and toddler sizes. I snagged London, this little skirt and sweater set as well. I thought the bunny was really cute. Our family, we live close to all of our extended family and we always have lots of Easter hunts to go to. Their little daycare has Easter parties. So I like to have a couple of holiday themed outfits for them. And these are so affordable and cute. And they also have a yellow version available too. London is so into little like twirl dresses right now, if she calls them <laughs> anything with tulle on the bottom of it, she is all about. So I thought this one was really cute. It's got a little bunny on the front. 
This comes in several different color options with patterns and like different embroidery on the front. And these are nice and airy and they can wear these all spring. Couple more dresses I found for myself and then we're out of here. So this one is another free assembly dress. I hadn't seen this one online, so I was really excited to find it in store. This is like a mini dress and it's got a really cute kind of flutter flounce sleeve on it. Also has a little hook and eye. It's kind of hard to see, but you can hook this if you're more comfortable with that. Just kind of gives it like a little keyhole detail, which is a little bit different. And then the shape is more of a shift dress. This one also runs pretty big, so I'm in the small in this one. Love the floral pattern of this one. This one's probably the most like Easter specific or quintessential Easter one of the bunch. It's got a little smocked waist. It is a nice, simple maxi dress. It's a longer sleeve. You could do this for workwear. You could throw a blazer or cardigan over it. I do think with a heel or a wedge, it'd be really cute for Easter. This one was also a little bit big on me. They only had the medium in store. I would size down if you're between sizes in this too though. That's a wrap on all things Easter at Walmart. I will link everything in the video description for you. And if you see anything you love, I would snag it quickly. These seasonal items tend to sell out really quickly. Thanks for watching.